Hey guys, it's Channel Heat here. How is everyone doing today? So, uh, if you remember, just about a week ago, I uploaded a video about the demonic marines of Halo 2, which you are seeing right here, where if you got the marines to use active camo in game and a Halo 2 anniversary graphics, uh, and you look closely at them, it will cause them to uh, look really, well, demonic. <laughs> so, uh, I've been asked about Halo 3. Um, actually, pretty much all the other Halo games, what if we tried that same thing in other Halo games? So to do it in Halo 3, it's a little trickier, because there's no assassin skull in Halo 3. So I had to mod Halo 3 to play as a marine. Simple mod to do, uh, but definitely need mods to try this out. Unlike Halo 2 where you could do with that, just the assassin skull. But anyway, so here on the Covenant I got the marine to pick up the active camo and activate it. So, right now, the marine is in full active camo. Uh, it's perfect camo, because in Halo 3, when you move, camo does not, you know, um, get worse. Which is what I like about Halo 3, actually. But anyways, that's beside the point. So, while in full active camo, the Marine looks fine. But, once the active camo starts to fade, like right now, and actually, when a Marine uses the active camo, it, it fades really quickly. It, does, it only lasts for like, I don't know, like 30 seconds or so. Probably less. But, the Marine's face will uh, start to glow <laughs> and if you get up close and look at it from the right angles you will see like a, <laughs> a ghost version of the marine and at certain angles you can make it look really creepy uh, and in other angles um, it will just be like really like bright for some reason but yeah this is basically what happens with um, Marines in Halo 3 when they use active camo. Now, like I said, in full active camo, they're fine, but when it starts fading away, that's when it brings out, like, <laughs> I guess it, I guess you could say this also shows Marines' true colors in Halo 3. Um, further supporting my, uh, <laughs> totally non-serious theory that, um, <laughs> Master Chief actually died at the end of Halo 1, and Halo 2, Halo 3, and so on are all just like him in purgatory, and Marines are actually like, all these like, freaky, like, I don't know, like, demons and ghosts, basically. But, yeah, so here's like a really good angle of the Marines' face. It's just, like, oh my god, it's like, I don't know, it's like something out of like some horror movie, like, I don't know, like, what's that movie? Either like, the Grudge or The Ring, something like that. It just, well, it just looks so freaky. But yeah, so that's basically uh, best you can get the Marine here. Um, the rest of the body looks fine. Uh, the more he fades in, the more um, from certain angles, the brighter the, the face gets, and then from other angles, you could see uh, his face a little more clearly. In fact, after a while, you could start to see like his actual face, um, his original face. But yeah, so that is the uh, ghastly marine. I wanted to call it the demonic marine uh, originally, but I'd say these marines look more like ghosts than uh, than they do like demons. So that's why we're going with the ghastly marines. And by ghastly, I mean you know like a ghost, not like the Pokemon ghastly. <laughs> But, uh, so, I don't know, let me, uh, let me know what you guys think, uh, is, is this marine scarier than the ones in Halo 2, or is the Halo 2 one scarier than this? Ghosts versus demons, <laughs> essentially, which is, uh, scarier. Just, uh, weigh in in the comments and let me know. But anyways, uh, so after a while the marine, the camo fully wears off and the marine is back to normal. But you'll never, uh... You never look at this marine the same way ever again, now that you've seen that. He looks fine now, but his, uh, underneath that skin is, shows his true colors. And you can do this with other marines as well, um, obviously. And we're going to try a different marine this time really quickly just to uh, show you the difference. So, same thing, I'm just going to activate the active camo now and better lighting. So... Actually, as it fades into a camo, you also see the uh, little ghost effect. And you, you, this time I didn't play in slow motion, so you saw how like how quickly it lasts. Um, you know, as it turns invisible, the marine's skin has like a bright flash of light. 
and then once an active camo, the Marine's perfectly fine. So, here we go. Now this wasn't slow motion, but you can pretty much tell that uh, the camo does not last very long at all. And this time the Marine has no helmet, so his whole head is pretty much like glowing now. Let me see if I could uh, get up close and find a better angle. Uh, but while we do that, some of you may be asking, well if the Marine can use active camo, what about the invincibility? What does the Marine look like with that? And don't worry, I've got you covered. Just uh, stick around towards the end of the video and I'll show you what the Marine look like looks like in uh, invincibility. So, let's uh, this one's a little trickier uh, because, I don't know, I must have gotten like a bad angle, but um, his head's glowing a lot. But there we go. Now I can see uh, his like inner ghosts, I guess. And then from here, he's just like glowing. And not glowing as in like, you know, he, he looks great, but glowing as in like, I don't know, <laughs> just scary glowing. But yeah, there's his uh, face and obviously the eyes don't appear as always. But yep, that's uh, that's what this Marine looks like in uh, fading active camo. And you know, there's, there's plenty of different versions of Marines I could do this with, but I'm just gonna just show these two and that's all. But you know, if anybody ever wants to try the mod themselves, feel free to uh, try other Marines and see like if there's any ones that look even scarier than this. All right, now as for the invincibility, let's grab one from the brute chieftain here, and let's uh, let's go ahead and activate it. So let me do that in slow motion right now, so you can see the whole process. Yeah, it's actually pretty instant. Uh, now at first glance, it looks like nothing's wrong with the marine. But if you look at his face closely, let me turn the camera around so you can see it. If you look at his face, you'll notice that the uh, active cam, not active cam, the invincibility, uh, actually wraps around his like mouth and eyes, and it forms like I can't even describe this, but like oh my god, this is just as, as scary as the other one. Like it's it's just like some monstrosity, like like I don't know, like that one electrical villain from that one Spider-Man movie. I think it's the second one. Not the original series, but one of the uh, the Amazing Spider-Man series. I forgot what it was. I haven't seen it for a while, but that's what it kind of reminds me of. But yeah, invincibility is also just as uh, freaky, I suppose. <laughs> but yeah, so uh, that's uh, that's pretty much it for the uh, ghastly Marines. Uh, if you guys did enjoy this, and hopefully you didn't find it too scary, uh, make sure to leave a like and. Uh, leave your thoughts in the comments, you know, if you thought that this Marine is scarier, or the Halo 2 one is still the scariest, just uh, let me know. And, of course, if there's anything else you want me to check out, also let me know, and I'll do my best to look into it. But other than that, make sure to subscribe if you haven't already, and I will see you guys next time. Bye, guys.